I was kind of shitting my pants, okay? When I tell you guys, this is out of my comfort zone. Wait, it's so cute. Wait, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Welcome to another vlog. I'm really excited about this one because this is basically gonna be my birthday vlog and I am packing up right now because I leave tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go on a little mini solo road trip and spend two nights in Big Bear, which I'm really excited about. I'm in the process of packing right now and prepping for that. I actually took my car in to get serviced because it was acting a little funky, so I just wanted to get that squared away before I drive a good distance. So that's happening, but I'm back here now while that's getting worked on to finish packing. So I'm kind of trying to lay out my outfits here on my bed and different options for like jackets and things because it is going to be chilly up there. I've got some pajamas. I've got my jackets. Again, it is going to be kind of cold, but it's going to be sunny. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too, too cold, but definitely at night once the sun goes down, it's going to be really cold. So I got myself some comfy skims pajamas. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of laying everything out right now. I've got my suitcase down here ready to get packed. I also have my little toiletry bag that I got from Amazon that I'm packing up right now too. So it just looks like that. It's really cute. I like the color. Um, and you can just like hang it up in the bathroom. I think what I'm also gonna do too is pack some of my own face towels because I'm, I don't know, kind of weird about that kind of stuff. So I think I'm gonna pack my own face towels. I also wanna show you guys, I got this little travel soap bar thing from Amazon. So I'm gonna put one of my um, body soaps in there. So I'm still kind of finalizing that, but working on that too. But yeah, so I'm really, really excited. And I also am gonna pick up a few groceries of things that I wanna take with me, pack up the food. And I think by the time you guys end up seeing this vlog, I'll definitely be back by then. But it should be really fun. I have kind of a few things planned out but not the whole time I'm gonna be like doing a bunch of stuff I kind of just want to go and chill read my book and of course I'm gonna bring my purse but I think I'm also gonna bring this backpack too so I can put my laptop in there bring a book I've got some Clorox wipes and things like that um, that won't necessarily go in there but also won't really work in my purse if that makes sense so i am gonna bring a little backpack to put my laptop and stuff in i actually got this backpack for my austin trip that ended up getting canceled because of the weather over there this week but i still get to use it so i'm happy about that i just got this from amazon i'll link it down below oh and you know what i'll also put a few snacks in here too for the road that way i have something to munch on if i get hungry on the way up there also need to bring my water bottle. I definitely don't want to forget that, so I'll probably put my water bottle in here too. Actually, I'll just put it in here right now, just so I don't forget it. But we've got the hiking fit. We've got a fun little outfit I'm gonna switch into. The bottoms aren't here with this outfit right now. They're in the dryer, but something else I got from Amazon are these reusable food storage bags. So these are kind of like Ziploc bags and they come in different sizes. And you can put like snacks in there. It's great for like on the airplane. They are BPA free. I'll link these down below too if you guys are interested. But they're just clear little like Ziploc baggies but more eco-friendly. So I was really excited. Yeah, so that's what those look like. So I'm going to put my snacks in here um, to pack in my little backpack. I also have these Eagle Creek little packing system things, so it just kind of like compacts everything so you can fit more into your suitcase. So I'm gonna roll up my pants. I feel like I'm definitely overpacking a little bit <laughs> for only two nights, but and then I do have some hats. I have a little blush 
bucket hat, which I'm not sure if I am gonna wear that. So I don't really have an outfit for it, but if it works with something, I'll wear it. And then I have a little white beanie to keep my head warm. And then you put these down. Oops, go like this. Okay, I very messily closed that, but you get the idea. So it makes it nice and flat. I can't remember where I got this set, but you can find these pretty much anywhere, Amazon or whatever. Uh, mine are Eagle Creek, and I think they did come in a set. And then that way all you have to do is put those in here, and it's just super clean, organized, easy. You know where your pants are and where your tops are and all of that. So I love these things. This is not sponsored by Eagle Creek, by the way, but I just love these things. Highly recommend. There's so many different brands. Um, and I think I'm just going to pack my jammies separately. And I think I am gonna end up bringing my makeup bag. I've been debating on whether or not I wanna bring it because it's gonna be like super chill, right? But one of the days I might just wanna do a little something just for fun, take a few pics or something, I don't know. So I think I am gonna pack my makeup bag too. I don't know how, but I'm already like out of space in my suitcase. Guys, I'm only gone for literally two nights. I don't know why I'm packing, like I'm gonna be gone for a week, but I mean, this is a carry-on size suitcase, so it's not like huge, but I really like this suitcase because it has this, so I can stack things up and then just use these little flaps to just strap it down and flatten it a little, but I still need space for my toiletry bag and my makeup bag. <laughs> so maybe, oh geez, okay. I just got it. I put the small one on top of the medium one there's my toiletry bag, which isn't done yet, but I just wanted to see where I could fit it. I have a thicker pair of denim underneath that, my hats, my other jammies, and I fit those thick, warm jammies in here, so that's gonna be like that. Perfect. If you guys have ever been to Big Bear before, this drive up the mountain <laughs> is never ending. I'm glad that the sun is out and the weather is like perfect. It's cool outside. You guys can see um, out my windows. It's beautiful. I still have like 12 miles to go and I'm just like, how I, the last time I was in Big Bear, I was, little. I was really, really young. I barely remember barely remember it. Um, it was a little family trip. I have to pee so fast. So I'm back many years later as a 20, about to be a 28 year old. So it's kind of cool being back. I don't remember any of this, but it's beautiful, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm excited to like get there and I have to pee, I already said that, but I thought I would check in with you guys because I didn't really say much before I left. I was honestly, if I'm honest with you guys, I was kind of shitting my pants, okay? I was a little bit nervous. It's my first solo trip ever, ever. So there was that aspect of it. I didn't know how the drive would be. I feel like the drive actually went by so quickly. I'm still working my way up this mountain. At the beginning of when I uh, started driving up the mountain, I was like, I can't look to the left, can't look to the right, because I have, I'm afraid of heights, guys. I knew that if I looked over to the side, I would just, especially too, because it kind of feels a little bit claustrophobic on the roads here, up here, but I'm feeling good. I feel more relaxed driving up here than I did on the freeway. <laughs> There's a sign right here, elevation, 7,000 feet. Okay, bye. Okay, friends. So I'm vlogging on my phone. I hope you don't mind. I'm just like trying to, I'm such a creature of habit and such a homebody. So I'm trying to like adjust to this new space, but it's really cute. Here's the kitchen. I'm making some pasta right now. Um, some pasta and I have these veggies I'm gonna put in the pasta. Okay. 
Um, what else? Okay, so I love this Airbnb because it has a projector. I need to pull the thing all the way down. But I was just kind of testing it out. Let me just pull it back up for now. Because it's in front of the window, so I want to let the light in. But yeah, there's a projector, so I'll probably watch a movie later with dinner. Um, but yeah, it's super cute in here. And the Airbnb host is really nice. She's great. Um, cute little bathroom. And there's this first bedroom here. Bunk bed situation there, and then that bed. And you guys, look at this Pac-Man. I have to play. I'm gonna sanitize it first, but that's really fun. And yeah, we are in Big Bear. We are we out here. First solo trip. Um, and then downstairs is the bedroom. And then that way is the bathroom. I'm getting used to it now. At first, I was just, you know when you're just like not in your usual, usual space? It's just, you know. But I turn on the TV. There's a little background noise. Oh my God, I'm making food. Can I pay attention and focus? Okay. There's also reverse osmosis filtered water over here. There's like a small little faucet. It's kind of cool. When I tell you guys, this is out of my comfort zone, but I'm like warming up to it all. You know what I mean? Let's get some veggies going. You know what's comforting? We have this same avocado oil at home, so I love that. Also, I passed the cleaning lady leaving. She was so nice. Like, very much motherly like nurturing sweet vibes and I really just needed that. Okay, okay. Okay, I already know what movie I'm gonna watch. It's like a comfort movie. It's a Christmas movie, but I can do what I want. It's my birthday tomorrow. So I'm gonna do what I want, okay. <sighs> you know what I mean? Take a deep breath. Yeah, this is chill. This is fun. Okay? We're having fun. This is fun. I still have my retainer in, but it is the next morning. And it's my birthday! Oh my gosh. It is definitely colder today, which I actually really love because I did want it to be kind of cold while I was here. I turned on the fireplace this morning. I'll have to go back down there and show you guys, but it's been a really nice, slow morning. I do want to go into town and find um, a nice big bear hoodie to commemorate my first solo trip. I also want to see the lake, so I want to go do something near the lake, even if it's just like walking by it or something. I said just like do whatever you want to do, play whatever music you want to play, talk out loud to yourself if you want to, and just like, I don't know, enjoy your own company. So let me go ahead and get ready for the day, make some waffles, I almost said pancakes, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. This Airbnb has a Vitamix, so I'm like, okay, let me pack some smoothie stuff in. In these little reusable bags, I brought some protein powder with me. So I also need, I have some oat milk. I brought some, berries. I do have a banana I brought. Maybe I can put some of that in there too. I'm wondering if I should save this for a snack for the little mini road trip back home tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I didn't even show you guys. Okay, so yesterday 
I got a message from my Airbnb host. She was like, I have a little birthday gift being delivered just to let you know so you don't like get scared. <laughs> and I was like, what? And then I got a delivery and it has these chocolate covered strawberries, white chocolate covered strawberries. This one has pretzel, chocolate chips, almonds, and then this one's just plain with a little happy birthday balloon. And then it also came with two um, other ones. I literally like, she's working for that five-star review for sure, but I thought that was so nice. She's been so nice this whole trip and I am going to link this Airbnb down below for you guys. Also, it's cool too because this Airbnb, because it's off season, up here, um, this Airbnb was half off. So I got a really good deal for this nice Airbnb. And it's just been, I just, I'm so glad I did this, you guys. I really am. Boom! So yeah, let's make a smoothie. I thought that was the nicest thing ever. That is literally, I need to do the dishes. This is literally, literally my love language is like little surprises. It's not even about like, the gift itself so much as the thought and the I don't know like wanting to surprise someone like that takes effort and thought and that really means a lot to me so last night I didn't finish vlogging because I forgot <laughs> I forgot that I was vlogging I don't know how I just I don't know I think I was so focused on just like settling in and getting food in my tummy and just like calming my nerves from the drive um I don't know, I was just... But anyway, so last night I just made myself a little dinner. I pre-packed some rice, some brown rice, and I brought salmon and veggies, and I just made a little dinner, and I pulled down the projector and watched my favorite movie, which is actually a Christmas movie, but I watch it year-round because it's so good. It's called The Holiday. I didn't finish it because I got super sleepy, but... That's what I did last night, and I kind of had a little trouble falling asleep, I think just because I wasn't in my own bed, but um, I eventually fell asleep and woke up to the sun rising, and I turned on the fireplace down there, laid in bed, and watched the sunrise. I woke up early. I didn't mean to wake up so early because I went to bed kind of late and wanted to get some good sleep for today. But not that I'm like doing anything crazy today, but I just wanted to be like well rested, you know, and have a bunch of energy, especially at this elevation. I've noticed I'm just like, my nose was stuffy last night and I was looking it up. And apparently that's the thing with high elevation is you get like stuffy nose, um, you can get like headaches. And I did have a headache, but I thought that was just from, I feel like the headache was just from the drive, honestly. Anytime I drive for a long time, a long period of time, I get a headache, but, the headache was gone when I woke up, so that was fine. Yeah, so we're gonna make some waffles this morning. I'm gonna have a smoothie first though, cause I'm kinda hungry, but I wanna make waffles after I kinda like get ready. I feel like I need some like hype birthday music on right now. I just have some lo-fi on. Um, I'll put some on in a little bit. It's a little windy today. And she got the Vitamix up in here. She ain't playing. She's gonna get a five star review though, cause I've just had the best experience here. Um, and then I'll come back and make waffles. boxes have officially arrived the new ones i have not opened them up just yet because i want to do it with you guys and do like a real authentic unboxing of the new soap boxes 
And at the same time, I also got my new soap stamp. I haven't unboxed either of them yet. I wanted to wait to do it with you guys, so I'm gonna be doing that here very soon, which I'm really excited about. Also, really random, but I have started eating tempeh again. I really love tempeh, and I kind of want to try making like an orange chicken sauce with the tempeh over rice. I feel like that'd be so good. So I'm gonna try that today too. Also, please excuse my bed. I'm washing my sheets right now, so it looks a little crazy. But before we get into the rest of the vlog, I do wanna give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. I actually found this new class on Skillshare that I am really excited to do. I think I might do it this weekend. I actually started it a little bit because I wanted to get a little sneak peek. But if you guys haven't heard of Skillshare before, they are an online learning community for creatives. And what's cool about it is there's so many different categories of classes that you can choose from based on whatever you're interested in, whatever whatever you're into, whatever your passions are. And it's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, which is amazing. The class that I'm about to take, which looks really interesting to me, is called Writing for Self-Discovery, Six Journaling Prompts for Gratitude and Growth. And this class is by Yasmin Cheyenne. She is a self-healing advocate, and I love that this class goes through different prompts that address working through regret, redefining success, writing to your younger self. So I'm really, really excited. This is right up my alley. If you guys also are really into like self-care, self-healing, growth, self-discovery, all of that kind of stuff, I think you'll really enjoy this class. I know that I'm going to, I did have a little sneak peek at it, um, although I am gonna take it this weekend, like I said, but I'm really excited to get into that. If you guys wanna do it with me, um, definitely feel free to do that. The first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box below will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium membership. Definitely go check it out, see what you guys think, and if you also are gonna be taking this class with me, please let me know. I'm very excited. I need to get back into writing and journaling. I used to be so good about my journaling, so I'm excited to finally get back into that and have some new prompts to try out. I am so excited about this. So here are the new soap boxes. I also have the new soap stamp. I get my soap stamp, my custom soap stamp from Etsy, by the way, um, if you're looking for one. I am gonna put on gloves because uh, the soap boxes are white and I don't want to get them dirty. So I'm just going to put these on. <laughs> Wait, you guys can't even see. Look. Can you see? Okay, so I think this is like, oh my god, it's so cute, wait, it's so cute, wait, it's so cute, oh my god, this is nice, wait, oh my god, okay, I'm freaking out. Okay, so the thing about the soap boxes too is since I have different soaps, I wanted to just make one base simple soap box for every soap, even if it's a different soap. I don't know why I explained it like that, but I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, but I'm gonna have different labels that go on the boxes to differentiate the different soaps. So the labels have not been ordered yet, but those come really quickly, so um, I wanted to get these first just to make sure that all was well and I could double check my measurements for how big I need the labels to be. Okay, so let me show you guys up close, okay? Okay, so here's the front of the box and this is the new logo. It's much more minimal and simplified in my opinion. So it says as well, handcrafted Oh, sorry, handcrafted body soap, and then up here, EST 2020, which is when we launched. And then here is where the label is gonna go, and it's gonna fold over to this side of the box too. So this part of the label that's gonna go here is gonna be the ingredients, and then here is gonna specify which soap it is, 
um, and kind of like the hero ingredients or the main featured ingredients. So if you can picture that, and that's gonna be the part of the box that's gonna be in color. And then on this side of the box is where the expiration date is gonna go. I am ordering a stamp, a time stamp, so there'll be a date stamped here to enjoy before X date. And then I have a little flower of life there. And then, so this is the top of the box where you would open it. And it says for your moments of mindfulness. Back of the soapbox is just a little description here. Some key points about the soap, directions, all of that, the legal stuff I gotta put on there. And please recycle. And then on this side of the box, the other side flap. I don't know why it keeps going out of focus. Oh, that's why I need to move this over, hold on. There we go. And then on the other side flap, it has the little icons for vegan, cruelty-free, eco-friendly, no artificials, no palm oil. So when you're looking at the box, it's really easy to know like, okay, this is vegan. Um, and then you guys, my favorite part of this, look at this, are you ready? <gasps> of course it goes out of focus. Let me see if I can get closer. So I decided to do a little embossing on the side of the box to mimic the soap stamp. If you guys have purchased a soap before, first of all, thank you. Um, but you know that there is a little soap stamp on the side of the soap, so I kind of wanted to mimic that on the side of the box. Um, so there's the soap box. Oh my gosh, this is crazy to see in person because I've been doing so many, you guys, let me show you. So here is a sample little mock-up that I did. I would print it out <laughs> and fold it myself just on regular like paper. I think I actually have a soap in here, yeah I do. Um, but I just printed this out and I have so many of these. Yeah, I have so many of these just like me adjusting like the copywriting on it and moving things around and formatting things and adjusting sizes and fonts and so to see like the final version of it is so crazy i'm so excited to now finalize the labels that are going to go on the front here oh my gosh this is actually insane i'm having a moment right now <laughs> So this is the new soap stamp that I got to match the new logo font here. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah, okay. And again, I get my custom soap stamps from Etsy. There's a bunch of... Ooh. There's a bunch of sellers on there um, that you can choose from. Okay, so here is the new soap stamp. It has a little handle on it. And I typically will just use a little hammer. I think you guys have seen me do that before. But yeah, with the new updated logo on it. I will say though, you guys, and I knew this before I received my order, I realized a few days after I submitted the artwork, but I spelled a word wrong. <laughs> so on the back here, the last sentence says no toxins, parabens, sulfates, phthalates, gluten, mineral, or palm oil, etc. I spelled phthalates wrong, but you know what? At least it was like a complicated word I accidentally spelled wrong. The annoying thing is I proofread this too and realized after I thought I spelled it right that I spelled it wrong, but it's okay. It'll just be a little secret between you and me. Okay, so rice is on. We're gonna attempt this orange chicken situation. So I have some tempeh here. This is the tempeh that I use by Light Life. It's just the original tempeh. It's a plant-based protein that I really like. So we've got the tempeh cut up in little chunks. I've got some mushroom, zucchini, I have bell pepper blend. I'm also gonna add some edamame and carrot. 
So it's gonna be like a nice little veggie blend with the tempeh and the sauce. So for the sauce, I'm gonna do orange juice. I've got this sugar-free maple flavored syrup that I really like by Lakanto and some tamari, which is just gluten-free soy sauce. So I'm gonna mix all those together, add a little ginger, and we'll see how the sauce turns out. I looked at a recipe briefly last night. Um, I think I'm just gonna kind of eyeball everything and just taste test it and see if it works out. Go bestie, that's my bestie. Oh, oh, oh. One, two. <laughs> to the sauce, I'm also going to add arrow powder just to help thicken it up a little bit. Okay, so here's how it turned out. It looks pretty good, actually. I had a little taste test of this little veggie medley with the tempeh to see if it tasted like orange chicken, and it's not like orangey enough, but it's still really yummy. Not bad, just definitely not orange chicken. The orange didn't come through enough. I feel like it probably needs some like fresh orange zest in there too, but Still a yummy sauce, pretty good. 